to know with complete certainty that you've got all the money that you need to be financially secure for the rest of your life. So raise your hand on the panel if you would like to have enough money to live off for the rest of your life. Thank you. And raise your hand again if not only do you want to have enough money, but you also want to be living out a life full of purpose and passion, ticking off that bucket list as you go. Raise your hand again. Brilliant. Thank you. So maybe at the moment you're thinking, you know, I've, I've got uh, certain plans for retirement or for being able to stop work in the future, but am I on track to have enough money? You know, am I on track to run out of money in my 70s or 80s when I'm no longer able to, to go back to work? Or could it be the flip side of that, that even worse perhaps, and that you're on track to die the richest person in the graveyard, having not ticked off the bucket list as you went. And maybe you're thinking, you know, I've got pensions and investments and ISAs and savings and those sorts of things, but are they really working as hard for me as they possibly could be? Or am I being ripped off by big life insurance companies and paying high commissions to advisors that have long since disappeared? And perhaps you've got the money side of retirement sorted. You know, perhaps you, you know that you've got enough money to live off the rest of your life, but you're more worried about, you know, what am I going to do with my time? And how am I going to keep fit and healthy once I've stopped work? Am I going to be bored? Am I going to become a shadow of my former self like so many other people do in retirement? So if this is where you are at the moment, where would you like to be? Well, imagine a time where you did know with complete certainty that you'd got all the money that you needed to be financially secure for the rest of your life. Imagine that you were able to live out a life ticking off the bucket list as you go. All those amazing experiences that you've promised yourself, all of those amazing things, and also that you're getting fitter and healthier as you get older rather than the opposite. Imagine living out that amazing life with a dynamic and flexible income that allows you to live the life that's important to you. So if the former is where we are at the moment, and what I've just described is where we'd like to be, would you agree that we might need a new strategy to get there? Yes, of course you might. And that's why I created the Wealth Workshop. Because the Wealth Workshop was about trying to help people get to financial freedom as quickly as possible, and then maintain financial freedom and live out a much better and more rewarding life. Because, of course, we work hard for this stage in our life. You know, we work hard for many, many years to save up enough money to stop. And yet, lots of people are really bad at the whole retirement thing. And in fact, that's why people become a shadow of their former self. But this is so important because this, is, this should be your life 2.0, the new version of your life. And there's never been a more important time to take this uh, approach uh, and take this uh, bull by the horns as it were because there's never been a better time to do it with the technology we've got available you know we, we can have our clients uh, log in and see all of their uh, all of their wealth all um, on their smartphone but there's never been a more important time to do this because we've never had such a long period of time of low interest rates and uh, and higher inflation, which means if you leave your money in the bank, it's guaranteed to go down in real terms. And of course, this stuff doesn't just affect you. This stuff uh, affects the people that you care most about too. And I want you to imagine just for a minute that you've left this earth and you're looking down on your loved ones and they're opening up that box, that file, that lever arch file, of all of your financial documents. Now, what did you leave them? Did you leave them a legacy? Or did you leave them a liability? So that's what we're gonna start to dive into today in the Wealth Workshop. But you may be asking, you know, who is Charlie Redding? Why should I listen to him? So before I do anything, go any further, I wanna tell you a little bit about where I've come from. And to do that, I want to take you back to a Friday afternoon in Russell Square House, central London. And this was a Friday afternoon in the year 2000. And it's a big, 
open plan office. And all I can really describe it as is a bit of a scene from The Wolf of Wall Street. So I don't know if you've seen the film The Wolf of Wall Street, but it's all pinstripe suits, white shirts. It's selling, selling, selling. It's this testosterone fueled atmosphere. And Friday afternoon always meant sales meeting with Big Z. Now, Big Z is this big sort of Ron Atkinson lookalike, you know, bald head, overweight, uh, again, pinstripe suit, white shirt. And uh, Big Z would be saying something along the lines of, I want you to sell more next week. If you guys don't sell more next week, you're out of here. If you're on your feet and on the phone between the hours of 11 and 1 every day, you're out. I don't care whether you're calling your granny, your, your mum, or a complete stranger. If you guys don't sell more, you're out of here. And I remember turning to uh, a friend of mine at the time, Matt. And I said to Matt, you know, why is it that all we ever hear is about Big Z's targets and about selling more products? You know, we've been giving financial advice now for about a year, and I've really enjoyed helping people save for their future, protecting their family, getting more of that out of their money, and yet all we ever hear is about shoveling more products down people's throats. And actually, if we fast forward four years to the year uh, 2004, I was again, I was in the Chucker Bar, this time again with Matt, but Chucker Bar in the Langham Hilton on Regent Street, Central London. And it's this beautiful old colonial bar. It's got, it had polo sticks on the walls at the time, and it was a really lovely old smoky bar. And I remember saying to Matt, you know, it's four years since we left Big Z. And OK, we're now giving independent advice. So we're, we're giving advice on the whole market. We're not uh, just selling one company's products. But really, has anything else changed? Aren't we still just shoveling products down people's throats? And Matt said to me, Charlie, I agree with you, man. I've had it with this industry. Uh, I've been reading this crazy book by a guy called Tony Robbins. Uh, and I've had it. I'm quitting. Great. So I found a job I love in an industry I hate, and the person, and my best mate in the industry just quit. Have you ever had a time where you knew you needed to make a big decision, but you really didn't know where that decision was going to take you? Well, this was my time. So I want to fast forward now to the X to, to 2011. This is a Sunday evening at the Excel Arena, massive uh, event venue uh, in Docklands, London. And I'm surrounded by 6,000 people. But the light is dark and dim. And these people, these 6,000 people are screaming, yelling, crying. Because I'm an event called Unleash the Power Within, which is the most famous event of Tony Robbins, the author of that, that book all of those years before. And it's made most famous for the fire walk. So over the course of the, those four days, yes, I walked across burning hot coals. But actually, it wasn't the fire walk that changed my life that weekend. It was in amongst the screaming and the yelling and the crying on the Sunday night in what's called the Dickens process. Now, Tony Robbins, I'm not sure if you, if you know what Tony Robbins looks like, but he's this big six foot seven American. He's got teeth bigger than I am. And out of the darkness came Tony's voice saying something along the lines of, I want you to imagine what your life will look like 20 years from now. What decisions are you making today that's going to create that in life 20 years from now? What decisions have you been making over the last five years? that's going to shape that life 20 years from now. Because it's in our moments of decision, our destiny is shaped. And I remember thinking, wow, firstly, have I joined the occult? But then secondly, looking back over the past five years, because five years prior, I'd set up a fishing portfolio, my own financial planning business, to do the best financial planning we possibly could. And... It had been going really well. You know, the planet, we were doing really, really well. We were getting better and better clients. We were doing a better and better job for those clients. And, and that was great, except I looked at myself. I looked down and said, look, 
Charlie, you're three stone overweight. You're in the worst shape that you've ever been. You've got a wife and two ch beautiful children, but you're working every hour God sends. You know, if you keep going like this, what's 25 or 20 years from now going to look like? And I could see myself in a one bedroom flat, weighing 20 stone, surrounded by pizza boxes. Carol and the girls had long since left me, efficient portfolio had gone to the wall. And I realized that this was not uh, what I wanted for my 20 years time. And so I realized I needed to make some big decisions. And I, and I, uh, Tony said something interesting over the course of that four days. He said, if you make the same decisions today as you made yesterday, you'll get the same results tomorrow as you got today. So I'll ask you, what decisions are you making today but expecting a different result from? And what decisions could you make today that could perhaps transform your life 20 years from now? So I left Unleash the Power Within and I made some big changes around my own life. I re-engineered my work-life balance. So I spent a lot more time with my family, particularly going, going on holiday. I completely changed my approach to my health and I went from being three stone overweight to a few years later cycling 142 miles through the Welsh mountains, amongst other things. And I you know, tried to improve the way that we were working with an efficient portfolio so we could deliver more. But there was still something missing. So I want to fast forward now to September 2015. And I'm in my Rutland office. Now, my Rutland office, as you can see from this picture, it's a converted barn on a farm in, uh, in the beautiful Welland Valley. And we looked out at the meeting room windows, which was just down here. Uh, and we looked across the fields and we could see red kites swooping in the sky and hares on the ground. And I'm in this meeting with a long standing client of mine, a client of mine called David. And David said to me, and by the way, David was a you know, far, retired or retiring farmer, uh, you know, flat cat, always came into the office in his wellies. And he said to me, Charlie, it's time for me to retire. It's time for me to stop working uh, and pack up. And he said, thanks, thanks, Charlie, to your help. I, I know that I've got all the money that I need to be secure for the rest of my life. So money is now not my worry. The problem is, what do I do when I stop working? Am I going to be, once I'm at home all the time, am I going to be bored? And what am I going to do to keep fit and healthy? I've always been out on the farm. And, you know, have I got to start going to the gym for spinning classes in Lycra? And I said, well, David, I've got, I've got some news for you. Uh, 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 this morning, a, a huge box arrived because I've actually heard many clients tell me this same uh, story time and again. And in that box is the first copies of my new book from my publisher, The Dream Retirement, How to Secure Your Money and Retire Happy. And I'd like you to have the first copy because whilst the first half is all about the money side of, of what we do for our clients, you'll know most of that because we've been looking after you for many, many years. But actually what I'd like you to do is pay, pay closer attention to the second half because that's more about how you spend your time and how you improve your well-being in your life 2.0, the new version of your life. And so yeah, I, and I, so I gave David the first copy of that book. Now David, as I said, was a very special client to me, not just because he was a long-standing client, he was a client of mine back right in those in the Bixie days, but also because he's my dad. So my dad got the first copy of my book uh, just as he was retiring. And that book led to a bit of a roller coaster of success for, for me and Efficient Portfolio. I started getting featured on the national radio, uh, in national newspapers, on the cover of industry magazines. And I got asked to share the stage with some internationally renowned speakers, people like Andy Harrington and, and Jerry Robert. An efficient portfolio is now known as one of the top financial planning businesses in the country. 
You don't need to take my word for it. That's what the Telegraph has said. That's what some of our industry magazines have said. And that's also rubber stamped by our regulatory body because we're a chartered financial planning firm, which puts us in the top 7% of all advisory practices in the country. But you know what? There's nothing special about me. What is special is that we help our clients at a much deeper level than we were able to help them in the past. And on my journey through the financial services industry over the last 19 years, I realized that there was really six key areas that you needed to master if you wanted to be truly financially free and financially happy. And that's what I want to talk to you today about in the Wealth Workshop. Now, would you agree if you're going to embark on anything quite significant, it makes sense to prepare? And that is the first step. If you want to become financially free, you've got to prepare for, for, for financial freedom. So what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is that it, the state provides you with an income of about £150 a week in retirement. Now, I'm guessing that you might see a bit of a reduced uh, lifestyle if you had to live off £150 a week. And so therefore, you need to get money put aside so that you can be financially free for yourself. Now, our industry is quite good at telling you you need to save, but it's very bad at giving you the knowledge to understand why and how you can save best and how you can get to financial freedom as quickly as possible. So we need to prepare. And if you're going to create a, a, a big project or anything, anything of, of any size, what you also need to have is a plan. And this is the bit that our industry is not very good at. So we get lots of people coming to us saying, I've got a pension, but I've no idea whether I can afford to retire. Am I going to have enough money? And that's because whilst they've got, they're getting advice, they have no plan. And if you're planning, if you're failing to plan, you're planning to fail. The third step is uh, once you've got a plan, you need to get that money working harder for you. You need to generate a profit. And what do I mean by profit? Well, I mean growth over and above inflation. You need to be getting the best return possible for a level of risk that you're comfortable with. And so once you've got your money growing, you've got a clear plan, you understand the psychology around money, then at some point you're gonna to get to financial freedom. You're gonna to get to retirement and you're gonna to need to turn that capital into an income. And that's where we need to create what we would call a pension, an income for life. So we need to get rid of the tension and create a dynamic pension, a dynamic income that can facilitate your life 2.0. Now, getting financial advice is all very well and good, but in my experience, most firms only then want to see you again when they think they can sell you something else. And that means that your financial planning tends to stagnate. So to counter that, we need to ensure that your financial planning actually progresses with you. Because otherwise it will stagnate. And I'm sure you'd agree that there's more to life than just the money. And so that's why we also need to think about the personal side of financial freedom. How can we create a legacy for those people that we care most about? And each of these six areas, uh, over the years we've helped clients in many different ways. And what I've been able to do is package up uh, each of these areas and, and give, pe give people the best, the, the quickest bits of, um, the quickest routes to uh, mastering each of these areas. So what we've done at Efficient Portfolio is created the smart saving solution so that our clients can prepare for financial freedom, understand the principles around money that are vital to them, their, to their financial success. It gives them the maximum impact for the minimum effort. Then what we did was we created the Safe Retirement Roadmap. The Safe Retirement Roadmap allows our clients to see into their financial future and check that they're, firstly, that they're, that's 
a financial future that they want. So they are targeting the thing, the future that's important to them. But secondly, it's a lash, it shows them whether they're on track to deliver that and what changes they can make to create that financial future. Thirdly, we created the radical investment approach. And the radical investment approach is how we show our clients how to get the best return possible for a level of risk that they're comfortable with. So they're getting growth over and above inflation, real growth. Then we have the dream income strategy. And the dream income strategy is again how we show our clients how to, once they've got to retirement, how to turn that capital they've saved into a dynamic and flexible income. When I set up a fishing portfolio in 2006, I created uh, the progressive review program right at the start because it was one of the most important areas to me in this business was to provide an ongoing service to our clients so that their financial planning progressed with them. Yeah. And so that's, so that's why we have the progressive review program. And then finally, because it is about more than just the money, we have the fulfilled life formula. How we, should, how we can help clients really uh, generate a legacy and improve their own life 2.0. Now, the content that I put into each of these areas, I normally spend a good day going through, but over in a webinar format, it's clearly very difficult to, I can't spend a day with you doing this because it, it, it's not the right format for that. So what I've been able to do, or what I've tried to do is pick out the key elements within each of these groups of key elements um, to really get you up and running so that you've got a much better idea of how you can create financial freedom. So I want to start off by looking at the smart saving solution. Uh, and as you might have worked out, this is a five step approach. Now, I haven't, as I said, I haven't got time to go through all of the different areas today. But the one, the one I want to start with is the rationale, the theory behind your money. And in my book, The Dream Retirement, I cover a number of these areas. I haven't got time to do all of those today, but what I do want to do is focus on one key area. Because if you get this first bit right, you will, if you understand it, you will get to financial freedom far, far, far more quickly. If you get it wrong, it will. you'll have to save more, retire later, and probably live off less. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about compound growth. Now, you may have heard the term compound growth, and quite often it gets associated with um, time. So let me give you an example, because compound growth is about the growth on growth on growth. It's the effect, the effect that the growth has over time. So let's have a look as, a, as an example. So a 40-year-old puts £100 per month into a, uh, a, a savings or investments uh, until the age of 65. Now that means that they've invested a total of 30,000 pounds over that period of time. And let's assume they get 6% growth. Now that isn't because of the effect of compound growth. What we don't have is 30,000 pounds times by uh, 6%. What we actually have, because of that growth on the growth on the growth, that fund would have grown to £69,000. So that compound effect of growth on growth on growth is really important. Now, of course, the longer you can invest, the better with compound growth. So let's have a look at a 20-year-old. Now, this 20-year-old, by coincidence, is also going to save £30,000 because they're only putting in £56 a month, which, as I say, up until 65, that means that the total they've invested is also £30,000, so exactly the same as the first example. The thing is, if they get 6% growth, because that compound growth has had longer to work, their fund will be worth £151,000. That's a 218% increase on, on, uh, on the money. Now, so what, 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 what's important there? Well, the first thing is, the sooner you can start saving and putting money aside, the better, because that's going to give you longer to benefit from compound growth. But you may be saying, well, that's great, Charlie, you know, I'm, I'm near retirement and, you know, I can't go back to being 20 years old to start, start this up. The first thing is that 
yes, you, you can start today. And the sooner you start generating compound growth, benefiting from compound growth, the better. But the second factor which gets talked about less with compound growth is also the rate of, of um, return. Because if we took that same 20 year old and uh, they were uh, investing 56 pounds a month until age 65 and they got 6%, then we said 6% growth, then we said that the fund would be worth 151,000 pounds. But if that same person's saving was only to get 5% growth, how different, how much different? So only 1% less doesn't sound like a lot, but their fund would only be worth 112,000 pounds. And equally, if they were to get, if that same person was to get 8% growth, then it would be worth 280,000 pounds. So whilst it doesn't sound like a lot of difference to get an extra 1% growth or lose an extra percent of growth, uh, actually it makes a massive difference to the long-term value of your money. Now over the course of this webinar, I'm gonna give you a number of ways that you can add an extra percent growth here, half a percent here. Each of these on their own won't sound that significant, but the vital reason I start with the principle of compound growth is because if you get the importance of adding a little half here or saving half a percent of charges here or saving a percentage here in tax, then it can make a massive difference to your financial freedom fund. I mean, imagine getting to retirement and having the difference between 280,000 pounds in your pension versus 112,000 pounds in your pension. Retirement is gonna look very different, isn't it? And it always reminds me of a, of a story. Uh, so a, a friend of mine, Chris, is actually my best man, lives over in Singapore. And when he comes back from Singapore to visit the UK, we usually go and play some golf because we both enjoy a round of golf and it gives us lots of uh, chance to, to have a bit of banter. And the usual best man jokes are coming out, you know, abusing each other's uh, game of golf. Uh, and this one time, Chris, and by the way, Chris is an investment banker, so he's inherently um, careless with money, shall we say, whereas I look after you know, a, a handful of clients' uh, money, so I have to be very cautious with money. Anyway, so Chris says to me, come on, Charlie, right, let's play for money. Let's play for this game, it'll play for money. I said, Chris, do we have to, uh, you know, I don't need any extra stress in my golf game. Uh, you know, there's already enough stress that goes on when I'm playing golf. He said, no, come on, Charlie, we're, we're going we're gonna to play, we're going to play for money. Uh, I said, okay, Chris, we'll play for 10p a hole. 10p a hole, Charlie. You run a successful financial planning business and you want to play for 10p a hole. I tell you what, we'll play for 10p a hole but we'll double it each hole. Okay, Chris, fine, how bad can that be? So first hole, tee off, uh, and we're playing for 10p. That's fine. I think actually he won the hole, I mean, I messed up on the first, uh, and so he's 10p up. But hey, as he points out, I run a successful financial planning business, I can cope with being 10p down. Uh, second hole, we're playing for 20p. I think I won that hole, so I'm now 10p up. Next hole, playing for 40p, next hole 80p. Now when we're playing for over a pound a hole, I'm starting to shake over the putts a little bit, starting to, to mean something here. But yeah, still only one pound 60 after all. Uh, by the 10th hole, we were playing for 51 pounds a hole. And I could see where this was going. I said, Chris, this is it. I've had enough of this. I'm stopping. I'm stopping this, this silly bet because this is getting completely out of hand. Had we carried on, by the 18th hole, we would have been playing for £13,000 a hole. Now, why am I telling you this story? Because all that you've witnessed here is compound growth. It's the growth on the growth on the growth. So it's absolutely vital that you understand compound growth, but otherwise, because otherwise you're going to be left on the first T. Now, uh, Albert Einstein described compound growth as the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it earns it, and he who doesn't pays it. So it's vital that we get you understanding the, the importance of compound growth. 
Okay, so that's all the time I've got to cover um, in rationale. Now, what we also do, uh, but again, I haven't got time to do today, is create a money management system for people that we then automate to get their money moving into different accounts. But one thing I do want to touch on briefly is tax and the different wrappers that you can use to protect your money. Because another way that we can get you um, compound growth is to save tax. So I want to just give you a little bit of a breakdown of how a few of the different tax wrappers work. So this, this one here is uh, the most tax efficient wrapper that's out there at the moment. Uh, it means that you can put money into it tax free. So if you would earn a hundred pounds, normally you'd only get 80 or even 60 pounds of that because the tax man takes the rest of it away. But actually this, you can put a hundred pounds into, uh, into this tax wrapper. So you've immediately saved a lot of tax. And then when you come to take the money out, uh, you can have 25% of that tax free and 75% of it is tax that your earnings at that time. Uh, if you haven't already guessed, that is a pension. That is the most easy way, that's the easiest way to save tax on your money. It's the most tax efficient wrapper. It also gives you the most flexibility nowadays on the pensions have ever given. Okay, so then we have a look at another tax wrapper. So this one, you have to pay the tax on the income as you would with normal earnings but the money grows tax-free, and also when you take the money out, it's completely tax-free. As you may have guessed, that's an ISA wrapper. Now, it's important to start distinguishing the difference between the wrapper and the underlying investment, because quite often when I mention ISAs to people, they say, oh, they give rubbish returns, don't they? Well, yes, the cash ISAs might, but the, ca the ISA is just the tax wrapper. I mean, what we put in it can be cash, but it can be a proper investment portfolio, and well, that will come on to you later on. The same with the pension. People quite often say, oh, you know, that's that rubbishy pension I got from my employer. But actually, the pension is the tax wrapper. What you put into it is up to you. A couple more, more complicated tax wrappers that are at our disposal as well. Um, so again, taxed income. But what it allows you, this one allows you to take a tax deferred income. Uh, and this is uh, quite effective for later on in life. Uh, and that's what's known as an offshore or sometimes an onshore bond. And for those people that have filled up their pension allowances, either their lifetime allowance or the amount that you can put in annually, the annual allowance, then there is one other tax vehicle that might be worth knowing a little, little bit about. Uh, so here you put the money in, of, of uh, uh, taxed money in, but you get a tax retain, perhaps of 30%. So if you put the money in, you know, 100,000 in, you'd get 30,000 pounds back in tax rebates. Uh, the money grows tax free, and also sometimes these can defer capital gains tax liabilities and also be free of inheritance tax. Well, these sound really attractive, don't they? And they are from a tax perspective. Things like enterprise investment schemes, venture capital trusts, seed enterprise investment schemes, very, very tax efficient, but much higher risk investments. So, not really appropriate to most people, but a really useful tool, particularly where you've already used up these two allowances in full. So if we can use those tax wrappers, we can mitigate, we can basically keep more of the money in our pot, which means we'll get to financial freedom that much more quickly and also create a better income in retirement. So that's all I've got time to cover in smart in the smart saving system uh, today. The last piece of the jigsaw was about safeguarding uh, uh, your money and your family's money in case something unexpected happens. But again, I haven't got time to cover that today. Okay, so I said the safe retirement roadmap was really about looking into the future, seeing what's important to you, and then building a plan to create that. So let's dive into uh, the safe retirement roadmap. Now I'm going to get you thinking for a minute. I'm going to give you a, a little exercise to do. Uh, rest my voice, if nothing else. Uh, and uh, but I want to get you thinking a little bit because it's already well building a financial plan. But if you if it's not targeting the things that are really important to you, then actually it's failing you. You're not going to create the best life possible. So let's start to think about what is it actually important to you in the future. So I want to think about some different scenarios, different things, different things that are important to you. So I want to ask you a question. 
Now there is a worksheet you can download, but you don't need to use that. Um, you can just scribble some answers down on a piece of paper. So my question for you is, I want you to imagine you've got all the money that you need to be financially secure for the rest of your life. So money is now no object. My question is, how would you live your life differently? And I'll just give you a couple of minutes to scribble down a few things. So uh, if money was no object, you had all the money that you needed to be financially secure for the rest of your life, how would you live your life differently? And I'll give you a couple of minutes to think about that and scribble down some answers. Okay, so well, that's one of the questions we ask our clients in the, in the first meeting we have with them because it's really important that you start to think about what really is important to you. A lot of people don't give this that much thought and only really once you understand what's important to you can you build a plan to create it. So I would like, I'd like, I've only given you a couple of minutes to do that now, but it'd be great for you to go back and really think about that, that question. Okay, so let's move on. Now, it's all very well having these great ideas in your mind of what you want to create in the future, but how are we going to know whether you're on track to do it? Well, the way that we, that we find out is through what's called a forecast. It's what's called actually a lifetime cash flow forecast. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen a lifetime cash flow forecast before, but I'd like to talk you through an example of one. Now, this is actually a, a lifetime cash flow forecast from a genuine client of mine, uh, and I'm going to talk you through what you're seeing here, because there's really two key charts. Now, this is actually a very uh, famous client of mine, very successful at what he does. Uh, he's uh, re world renowned for what he does, in fact. And... Uh, what you're seeing here is this black line is the amount of expenditure he has for the rest of his life. For each year, right the way through to 100. Now, it may, it's worth pointing out, actually, that we model everybody assuming they live to age 100. Now, you may think that you, you might not be on track to live to 100, 